Welcome everybody, this is your boy Gerardo Matero and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Wee's GNZ Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, and even Foxy. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the working MAC mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process, then download this mod, and I will leave this mod inside my description below. This mod does require enable all interiors, so I will leave this inside my description below. This does require the latest version for Lemon UI, so I will leave this inside my description below as well. Once you have completed that process, then now we can get started. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now next, really important, before you do anything, go to your skithookv.net.ini file, double click, and make sure that you change your reload key to insert. Save the file. Now next, if you don't have a scripts folder, then simply go to your folder over here, right click, then go to new, then now go to folder and create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase. Now let's begin. Open up your scripts folder and now next, open up your Lemon UI Extract folder first. Go to your SHVDN3 folder. Now select all the files and drag it inside your skits folder. Exit out of your Extract folder. Open up your Enable All Interiors Extract folder. Go to that folder. Go to this folder. Now select all other files and folder except for the text file and drag it inside your skits folder then exit out of your extract folder now lastly open up your working MIC extract folder go to this folder go to this folder now select all the files and folders except for the text file and now drag it inside your skits folder now this will pop up just select replace and I exit out of your extract folder go back to your Creative Audio V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and now we are in the game with Franklin so once you're in the game okay all you gotta do before you do anything is go to your phone Go to your contacts, then I go right down to the bottom and you'll see enable all interiors. Call that. Go to change and interior. Now you can do whatever you want over here, but really important, go to MISC options and now make sure enable markers is ticked and load MP map is ticked and even enable blips is ticked. 
Now this next step is optional. Random color blitz, you can disable that or enable it if you want to. It's totally up to you. Exit to the main menu. Then go to refresh interiors and press enter. Now exit out of your menu. Go on your keyboard and press insert. Your game will freeze but only for a few seconds. Now your game is back. Now the next step is we need to purchase the MOC. So make sure that you are somewhere where the MOC can actually spawn, which it can spawn over here. So go to your phone, go to your contacts, go right down to the bottom and you'll see purchase and modify. Wait for a few seconds. Go to purchase our command center. Then now you can purchase the MSC. Now it will be behind me, so let's turn around. There it goes. Now, what you can do is that you can come over here. Okay, let me just give you guys the overview. Press H on your keyboard to open up the menu. You can, uh, you can. Uh, modify your MAC to whatever, okay? I'm just going to leave everything as default. Uh, you can change the colors of your blips. And now uh, you can go to the options and you can open up the cargo bay, close it. You can go to autopilot or reattach the trailer. Or you can enter the cargo bay. And now we are inside the cargo bay. Now over here, okay, you can exit if you want to, just by going over here, press E. Um, but yeah, you can't do much in here because, uh, yeah, yeah, you just can't do much, but yeah. Now over here, we've got the weapons, press E, and then now you can purchase any weapons you want. Now next, um, just wait for a few seconds. Now over here, you can modify your MAC over here. You can change the base to whatever you want, okay? Um, I'm just going to leave everything as default, okay? I can't be bothered doing it. Um, and over here, you can exit through the back end of the MOC, see? Now there you go. Now you can bring your vehicle in. Let me just bring a random vehicle by using menu. Go to vehicle options, uh, vehicle spawner, then just choose any vehicle I want. And now uh, come over here and then press Q to enter. And then now you will be inside the MOC. Now you can press Q to save your vehicle. And now you can press G to open up the uh, customize for your vehicle. You can customize your vehicle if you want to. Um, or you can exit the vehicle outside. So here, yeah. press F to exit the vehicle. And we back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy the mod, it's an awesome mod, and it still works. But like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods from GTA V or Cyberpunk, then I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. So with that said, if you guys did enjoy this video, or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.